What is the greatest common divisor of these two numbers? Oh my god, they are quite large. The Euro method doesn't work. This trick that I'm gonna show you is more elegant, much easier, much faster, and much better. The greatest common divisor of two large numbers. Hmm. There is only one formula. The greatest common divisor, for example, of two numbers, A and B. With more numbers, this trick also works. A is this guy, and B is this number. Okay? Now we let A be greater than B. A can also be equal to B. Therefore, the greatest common divisor of A and B is just A or B. The formula is, the greatest common divisor of A and B is equal to the greatest common divisor of A and A minus B. It is also equal to the greatest common divisor of B and A minus B. Why should A be greater than B? Therefore, A minus B is positive. How to prove this theorem? I'm going to show you later. Firstly, let's have a look at all this question. Solve this question by using this guy. The greatest common divisor of 6,731 and 2,809. Therefore, look carefully what I'm going to do. It is the greatest common divisor of, since we have two congruent forms, it is equal to this, it is also equal to this. Which one should we use? I'm going to choose the second formula. Why? Since b is smaller than a, it is less than a, we all like small numbers and we hate huge numbers. a is bigger than b. a is now this number, b is this. So that's why we should choose the second formula. The GCD of a, b is equal to the GCD of b, a minus b. Run the number which is small here. It is 2809. Then the subtraction of these two numbers, the big one minus the small one. And you can see 3,922. Two small numbers. Of course, they are both smaller than this number, 6,731. Then, further, use this formula again. It is equal to, we should write the small number first, and the small number is 2,809. Again, right here. Oh, this pen is annoying. Then the subtraction of these two numbers, the big one minus the small one. 3,922 minus 2,809, it is 1,100. And 13. Then, further, the greatest common divisor of these two numbers is equal to, firstly, the small number, now it is 113. The subtraction of these two numbers, the big one minus the small one, this one minus this one, is equal to 1696. So then, again, the small number is 1113. The subtraction of these two numbers, the big one minus the small one, it is 583. It is the GCD, the greatest common factor of the small one right here, 583, and the subtraction of these two numbers, which is equal to 530. 
now it is the greatest common factor. The small number is 530 and their subtraction 583 minus 530 is 53. And we've done. Why? Here, 53 divides 530. 530 is 10 times 53. We should never give up until one of the numbers divides the other. So the greatest common divisor of these two numbers is 53. Do you want to know why it works? The proof is coming. I'm going to use this pen, okay? The blue pen. We can suppose the greatest common divisor of A and B is D. And we let D times A0 is A and D times B0 is B. Of course, A0 is smaller than A and B0 is also smaller than B. Since A is bigger than B, so A0 is also bigger than B0. If we subtract the second equation from the first equation, and we can get... What can we get? D times A0 minus D times B0 is A minus B. So therefore, D times A0 minus B0 is A minus B. A minus B is an integer. A0 minus B0 is also an integer. So D divides A minus B. Since D is the greatest common divisor of A and B, so A0 and A are co-prime, B0 and B are also co-prime, therefore A0 minus B0 and A0 are co-prime, A0 minus B0 and B0 are also co-prime, hence we can get D is the greatest common divisor of A and A minus B, it is also the greatest common divisor of B and A minus B. It has successfully been proved. Subscribe to me and we see you next time. Have you learned it?